The law requires that your building adheres to the Ontario Building Code. This is controlled through the building permit process. Without a building permit, you cannot start construction. To apply for a permit, substantial fees are required. Applications must be accompanied by drawings, plans, and other documentation. Approval processes are taking longer in recent years. It can take up to 12 to 18 months, and in some cases, up to two years. A permit is also needed for demolition, which may be restricted or refused by a municipality trying to preserve the supply of rental housing or buildings with historic or agricultural importance. Sometimes the restriction applies to the whole building, other times just a feature of the building, such as an entrance or exterior walls. At the start of the application process, the architect will research the municipality's planning guidelines and create a design that satisfies their rules and requirements. Considerations relate to use, heights, floor sizes, and population of the building. The architect will have a preliminary meeting with the municipality's planners to ensure their understanding is consistent with the intent of the rules. Once the architect is confident that the municipality's objectives and the building owner's desires can be satisfied, they will seek a planning agreement with the municipality. Next, the architect and engineers create working drawings that detail exactly where everything goes. For more on this topic, check out our other video, What Goes Into a Building? The working permit drawings are submitted for building permit approval. The municipality is reviewing your plans to ensure proper zoning, use, heights, and size relative to your size location. To ensure compliance with OBC, the reviewer is checking for proper health and safety measures in the design. Fire protection, structural sufficiency, materials, plumbing and mechanical systems are also being considered. Multiple drawing revisions may be needed to satisfy the reviewer. Once the reviewer is satisfied, a building permit is granted. Additional permits may be given for structure, plumbing, mechanical, and electrical work. Other agencies such as the Electrical Safety Authority and the local utilities may play a role here. Officials from the municipality will inspect the building during and after construction to ensure it was built in compliance with the plans that were submitted. Once the building is constructed and declared substantially complete, the architect or owner applies for an occupancy permit. This allows residents to lawfully move into your building. 